and welcome back to Teacher Tom's Tutorials. Today's episode is episode two, and it's all about annotation. Well, before I go any further than that, I think it best that we both be on the same page. So I'm going to have you take the time to look up that word, grab your dictionaries, and uh, let me know when you figure out what annotation means. That's A-N-N-O-T-A-T-I-O-N. So I'll just pause here for a moment while you go uh, dig that out. Oh, hey, great, you're back. Thanks, I appreciate that. Um, now that we both understand what annotation is all about, I can move forward. So, as you can see here, I am logged in as a student, and being the solid student that I am, first thing I'm going to look at is, uh, I'm going to go over to the right side of my screen and look at those notifications, and it does look like I have one message here from a teacher, so I'm going to click on that little plus and drop it down and says, oh, hey, I got a new grade. So I'm going to click on one new grade, and sure enough, it tells me I got a 22 out of 25. Well, I thought I did better than that on this particular assignment, which is called Social Studies is more important than math. Well, I have the grade there, so I'm going to click Hide from Notifications so I no longer need to get that um, pushed in front of my face. That's about it if you are just interested in the grade. But being the excellent students that I know you are, I know you're going to want to know more information than that. You're going to want to know why you got the grade that you got. And that's where we're involved with annotation. So now let's go ahead and click on the chosen class where I got that grade. And I'm going to filter my posts by assignment so I can get rid of some of these other assignments that have happened or other posts that have come in since that most recent assignment but I'm gonna click on assignments so I filter them just that way and here's that that grade that I wanted to question so I'm gonna click on graded and then I've got a few options here I can see that the the teacher gave me a, a rock star or a double thumbs up so I thought some something good was happening there and I got that 22 out of 25 and that looks pretty good but I want to know a little bit more so um, I'd like to draw your attention to the little icon there that looks like a magnifying glass and if you hover over it you'll see that is a preview if you click on that preview it'll open up a file which is the same file that you submitted to your teacher but you've got my annotation marks there so you can see that one two three different things have been annotated and if I scroll over to the right I can see the specific notes that are attached to that so for example, in the second one here, it just says, please start all paragraphs with an indent. And you can see it points right over to the beginning. And you know what? He's right. That is a new paragraph. So I should have done that. And I can see now where maybe I lost a point here, lost a point here, and lost a point here. When actually, I should have gained an extra point here and maybe, maybe lost a point here. So it all balances itself out. But that is a quick view of that annotated assignment. Um, you can then download it here if you want to clicking that download button I could just download the file but that's already in my backpack that's something I already saved so it's it's no big deal but I, I might want to print off those notes so I could click on this button here which gives me the option to print off the annotated version in a PDF form so I would I would have that with me maybe I wanted to look at that while I go make my corrections for the teacher but I don't want to do that right now um, that's about it and as far as annotation goes I just want you to start looking at this preview button when you get assignments back so you can start seeing what in fact uh, got you the grade that you were scored with now not every assignment is going to be annotated but I do want you to start uh, taking taking a look there you can also see that the teacher left you an assignment or left you a message on that assignment um, speaking of the teacher and the message I want to show you one more thing which is possibly tied to this um, annotations page but uh, let's say that that the grade came back to you and you wanted to make some changes and then submit it to the teacher well how do you just send something to the teacher if it's not an assignment obviously if it's an assignment I can click the button that would say turn in here and then it gives me those options which we've already done but I can always just make a post to the teacher if I've made some corrections so I might just say here is my corrected music assignment might do that and 
let's see, I could go ahead and link something. I Oops, I don't want to link. I want to go to my backpack. I'm going to go into the backpack because the student has already gone in and made some changes. And this is the revisions. That's what I, what I called it as a, as a student. So I might as well attach that. And right here, if I send it, it's going to go to the whole class. And I certainly don't want the whole class to have to look at my assignment there. So if you click this drop down menu, this gives you your options. Um, I'm in two classes right now. I, I was in this, this dummy class, but I'm also somehow in ninth grade technology. Isn't that fantastic? So I could send it to this whole class or this whole class, but I, I'm also attached to a couple different teachers. And so this is, of course, the teacher I want to send it to. I could just as easily, I could click on that or, you know, if I'm up in this box, I could click dummy class. Oh, I just did that. But anyway, we'll click on the teacher. Now I'm sending this note just to the teacher. And so I'm directly sending assignment to the teacher. So I'm going to and, gonna go ahead and click that. And it will send that off to the teacher. And hopefully if uh, I'll get <laughs> He'll take another look at it. And maybe I'll get a better grade. Hey, thanks for joining us today. And thanks for doing all that extra work on your own. I really appreciate it. Uh, keep, um, keep it on. Thanks for checking in. Talk to you later. See you later. Bye-bye. All that good stuff. Adiós.